Hello and welcome to Z Gadget Review. Today Sony surprised everybody dropping a video with a teardown of the PS5. That's right. They went ahead and took apart the PS5. On camera, piece by piece, it was amazing. I feel like Sony decided that Jerry Rig everything couldn't coordinate the market on tearing things down, so they decided to go and do their own video. It was it was really cool to see how they put the console together pretty much backwards and show you all the pieces at the end of the video they have all the pieces sitting there in front of them it was really really cool to see so uh, my first impressions of this were was the size of the console we know that the console is obviously pretty big based on mockups and things that we've seen based on the sizes and dimensions of the system but actually seeing it next to a person it's a it's a big system and and it's almost the size of uh, the guy's torso. I don't know if it's the the angle of the camera or what, but it looks like a pretty <laughs> it looks like a pretty big machine. So you might want to start looking for room in your entertainment system to put this somewhere because you're going to need it. The other thing that they showed us were the ports on the front and back of the system you have your usb type c port usb type a port then in the back you're going to have two usb type a ports your LAN port and your hdmi port then they explain the form factor pretty much in the way that they were moving the console around uh, so we know that the front is going to have vent ports um, that you can see between the plates of the system but the whole back of it is also going to be an exhaust port. So it, pretty much the whole thing around is made for ventilation. Then they went ahead and explained how the stand is going to work. If you were not aware, you're going to need a stand for uh, to stand the console either vertically or horizontally. It's really cool that they show that the little screw that you're going to use to screw that stand when you have it vertical when you have the console vertically it's going to be able to hide in the stand so you don't lose it and you know where it is but it is interesting to see that you're going to need a stand for both um, positions and i think the reason why you need it when you put it horizontal is because of the form factor of the system it looks like it will be kind of a little wobbly if you didn't have a stand for it so to keep it in place you're going to need that stand the other cool thing that they showed us was that the side panels are removable. And if you've been following the leaks and news, uh, we already knew that this was the case. But if you didn't, then this was a surprise. So yes, they're going. you're going to be able to remove the panels on the sides, which I think is a really cool idea. One for Sony, because um, it allows them to, when they customize a console for, um, for example, when it's when they're launching a game or something and they're doing a custom console, it is going to be a lot cheaper to customize those plates for the game or whatever it is that they're trying to do than to build a whole console customized to that specific product. Maximizing their profits when they sell you the console at a higher price since all they have to do is customize those plates. The other cool thing, obviously, is that you're going to be able to to customize your own PS5 to look whichever way you want it to look. I wonder if this is a comeback to uh, face plates like the Xbox 360 used to have, uh, which people love. For some reason, I never understood the point of it, but I, I guess I guess people like customizing their things and making them their own. This is obviously going to create a whole market for customized PS5 plates. And I'm, I'm I'm wondering how long is it going to take to start seeing them, you know? It's probably gonna be like a month or two. I'm sure D-Brands is probably already working in their own skins that you can put on your PS5. It's something that, it's crazy to think that, that this whole thing is coming back. So once I remove the plates, they also show that the system is going to have dust catchers. And that's really, really cool for the longevity of the system. Uh, most people, I'm sure, don't open their consoles and clean the inside of it because the moment you open your console, you void your warranty. So people don't want to do that. 
so it's really cool to see that 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 Sony has thought of that and have provided a solution to that dilemma where you just need to put the nozzle of a vacuum and suck out all the dust that might be sitting in your console. It's really really good idea. You also have that port, the door for uh, the storage expansion that um, I'm assuming we'll hear more about this later on. I mean, the console is about to launch, so I don't know what they're waiting for. Then they showed us uh, the fans once they removed the fans, which are really, really big fans, which also shows how much Sony has thought of cooling when it comes to this next gen PS5 and their effort to make sure that this system is going to be cool when it runs, that it's going to last a long time and you're not going to have any issues. Another thing that confirms how much Sony has thought of when it comes to thermals in this system is the fact that they are going to be using liquid metal in their systems. And there were rumors that they were going to do that, and a lot of people were saying, no, that they that probably wouldn't be feasible because of costs and all those things. But this is something that they spent two years working on in order to be able to make liquid metal work in in the PS5. And of course, I'm assuming so it wouldn't cost so much. The other thing that they showed is a heat sink. Now that thing, heat sink is gigantic. It looks like the heat sink takes pretty much a space of the whole console. It is going to be a heat pipe type heat sink the Xbox Series X is going to be using a vapor chamber heatsink, but it's obviously a different form factor. Again, I like to stress how much thought Sony is putting into their system being cool and staying cool. So this was really cool to watch. It was really cool to see how the, um, the system is put together. It was really cool to see how Sony has put so much thought into the form factor and kind of explain it to us why the system is built the way it is by taking it apart and saying, hey, look, this is this is why it looks so wild, right? This is the reason why we want the system to run cool. We want the system to be to run quiet. Like this playing with a Blu-ray player that has its own casing and it has two layers of insulators in order to make sure that 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 the disk drive is going to be very quiet and the vibration isn't going to mess with the disk when it's spinning in 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 the system. So I wanna, you know, I'm very excited about this teardown. I I, I wish more companies will do something like this to kind of explain to you why they go the way they, they go. Uh, to me, it's really cool to see how a system is put together, why it's put together that way. Of course, Xbox had their own response on how to put your Xbox Series X if you want it horizontally or vertically. I think it was a little pity, but I guess they got to, you know, put your, their jabs, whatever they can when it comes to uh, this uh, next gen console war that we are about to step into or that we are in. All right, go ahead and let me know what you thought of uh, Sony's PS5. Is this something that you would like to see more from other companies, you know, showing how their systems are put together? That's it for me. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we have new videos. Give us a thumbs up. Every thumbs up helps that channel. And thank you very much for watching.